Wow. Dude, I just found you something so rad. You're not going to believe this is real. Signed the Mike Tyson team. What the fuck? <laughs> In the memory. No and they have like the way. authenticity slips up there. No way. You gotta no hang. way. <laughs> you got to hang that on that the wall. That is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> we got gold. There's you gold up there. Gold. That, that There's like the 10 other right ones. There. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video of this incredibly crazy clean out that we've been doing uh, with our friend Greg Alessino. And we've gotten to the point now where most of the house is cleaned out. Um, and the attic, it's flashing. The attic and the one room are left, basically. There's other stuff around. Um, there's still like a big load of trash as well. But we decided that the attic is really, really filled with stuff. And it might uh, be a good video all in itself because the footage could just get so lengthy that it would be too much for a whole edit to just put it all in one. So maybe this is a new edit, maybe not, but we'll see. What do you think we'll we're gonna say. find up there? Mm. Probably gold, not gonna lie. Do you wanna get into it just yeah. like that? Let's do it. All right, let's get into it. I think, I mean, really, everything in the attic sadly was cleaner much 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 cleaner than everything else in the house so like we got a fan running to try to move it uh oh they have roaches and fleas oh hell no and really bad mold they can have that shit I like these chairs, though. These chairs. You want good. them? Yeah, but I live. I can't tell them. Yeah, but when we're. I live right on that corner right there. When we're done, maybe we can bring them. Yeah, over. no, I live right on the corner house. See where the great minivan is? Just right put them there? in the yard and I'll get them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Put them in the yard. In the fence behind yes, the fence. Yeah, just put them in the fence. Yeah. Okay. When you, you get a chair, you ain't got to do them right now, but whenever. You, you right? want them for real? Yeah, I want them. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. You said yeah. they don't take them. Whatever's in them done crawled out by now. Yeah. Well, he bombed the house. Okay. With, with the bed bombs. Uh, Damn, bed bug stuff. No, like I the... I know they were nasty because when roaches. I was talking to them one night, you could smell it. Them and them. It, they had a bunch of animals that they weren't taking care of in there either. They were letting them poop Dead? all over the floor. Oh. No, that would be sad, but Oof. no, the animals weren't in there. No, it was sad the way they were treating them. Them dogs would be hungry when you come by. Yeah. Yeah, I threw some food one day and they were fighting over there. Mm. They go on, thank God. Yeah, we'll put these in the yard for you. Guys. Guess what? We had a couple home invasions, and I swear, one of them was in my house. From here? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. There was um. Because he had a mask, but his statue. You know what I'm saying? How yeah, you, the figure. You see people enough. Two of them. It was two of them, and a girl. They were in my house. What were they doing in there? They tried to rob me. What? They tried to rob you? Yeah, home invasion. You should have just. Two of them pistol whip them yeah I, by the time i got to my gun they were gone yeah. i would have just you know, i'd be scared to come from them i'd be scared to go but guess what houses. i looked up and there they were in i said how in the fuck you get in here and i had left my window open you were there alone and they were already in there i've been there almost 10 years you were by yourself then uh-huh and um my my i had a heart attack so i couldn't take care of my grandkids anymore so they moved out my daughter took them from me and um so i was in there by myself as long as I had my kids and my son was coming in them, nobody fucked with me. Yeah. So as soon as they left, I got to talking to them. After I talked to them, I had two home invasions. Because they knew you were alone But in I there. told them, I said, what I got on my hand and what's in here, I'm dying for. So you might as well just shoot me because I'm not giving you nothing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get them glasses from? Those are sharp. <laughs> I had them like five years. Yeah, they're cool. I got them when I went up to New York. Okay. I went to New York. She's got some like that. When I sell glasses like and all that stuff, I do all of that. And um, but I ain't been able to do it lately because I had a heart attack. I had two stents. Okay. But uh, in um, July the 29th, I'm gonna do something. How are you feeling now uh, from it? I, all right. I'm, I'm scared of everything. Yeah. Like I want to get up and I can't because I'm scared. Yeah. I want to get drunk, but I'm scared. Shit like that. But the doctor said I'm good. But. I, I, got, I like liquor, I like liquor and wine yeah. and shit like that, but I'm scared right now. But about after a year, he said I'll be able to do all that. Yeah. Not get Yeah, don't push it bit. too hard. Just a have little. a couple of drinks, maybe. Yeah, right? yeah, I can't do a couple of it.
Wow. Hey, I'm going to do this. So... First, we're going to just hand down like a couple of these things that are right here in the way. And you can just set it all in the living room for now. So far, that's... Put it on the porch, yeah. This one's not trash though, there's cool stuff in there. I'm just putting it all on the porch. Whoa. It's the second one that's You know what's crazy is? That's crazy. These guys were in that lady's house mm -hmm. trying to rob her and they have solid silver thing. So that you won't have to shoot me. She was not having it. Oh this is silver for sure. Mm -hmm. This is silver, probably maybe gold. And they're in there robbing people, but they have all this in their attic. Mm -hmm. Not that it's worth a lot, but like, what were they doing? This is the good good. Here's the Pisces little medallion. A little Louis Vuitton locket. What is this? This is like treasure chest in here. If there's more gold like this, we'll be looking at a gold mine here. This is a this is a good piece here. Alright, just brought this down. And that is literally all gauze with blood all over it. That's so gross. Ugh. And then we got Cash blast. Hmm. I've just been bringing them down and going through them, but this is why we got to go through them. Because look at this. Oh my gosh. Not that great, but still pretty good. And like, what is this? Nothing, but could have been something. Grandma's. He's back. The boy is back. What's the claim? Dude, the mattresses are delivered. The Not. trash was delivered. <laughs> it looks, did the trailer go up? I saw uh, that partially. Trailer partially. And then I just started backing it up. Just flooring it. And then just pulling forward and backing it up. I and mean, I was just running shit over it. was <laughs> totally <laughs> insane, dude. Right, so Thinking these people so were just, just like robbing. Yo, yo, why? Why would you need this many ace bandages, though? 600. All right. So what are we doing here? This is the crazy stuff here that begins to get crazy. Signed, Ken Griffey Jr. Who do we got? Another one, not signed. 
What do we got? Sign, dude. No way. No way. Mike Tyson. Signed. Signed. Oh my god. And they were robbing people in the other house. They probably robbed that from someone. Look, there's vintage clothes, dude. That. Though I think. Let me get them. Look. Yeah. How are you gonna put this fan up here and then put it towards the roof? I was just putting it in here to, to air it out. I gotta show this to Greg though, because this is his baby right here. I would just hang this up in here. Dude, I just found you something so rad, you're not gonna believe this is real. Signed to Mike Tyson. Team. What the fuck? <laughs> in the memory. No and they have like the what? authenticity slips up there. No way. You gotta no hang. way. <laughs> you gotta hang that on that the wall. That is the greatest thing ever. We got gold. <laughs> There's you gold just up found there. Gold. That, that There's like the ten other right ones. There. Like uh Ked Griffey Jr. and stuff. Sign, so sign. Many. Gold. Bro. Absolute gold. Dude. That's the one though. That's dude. it. I'd hang that right over my bed. 1986 to 88, 86 mm -hmm. year I was born. I was still here, right? Greg, you know what this is though? This is American Pickers on crack. It really is. <laughs> Because like nobody else would ever go in that I mean, attic like, for both. Like, like these boxes have like good gear in them. Signed Mike Tyson, Ring Magazine Fighter of the Year. That might be the, the score though, Greg. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> we should eBay that. This thing is really interesting. Like on bids and just uh, see what 55 happens. 55 bucks. Oh uh, <laughs> fuck. That's not even a marketplace no, piece. Yeah, some like weirdo would love it. The 20, thing the, 20 grand. The thing that's cool about the attic is it doesn't seem like there's any bugs up there. This is like really, really in mint creepy. condition. What's it called? The brand? The creepy doll. Oh my god, that's so creepy. <laughs> what is that, uh, dude? For people who like to act like they have babies. Oh. The title of it is Hush Little Baby. Hush Little Baby, you're freaking me <laughs> out. Leave that for me, I'll say that. <laughs> Leave that for the horde. Alright, so he thinks we're going to do this one today. So we might as well just... Uh, get into it here that's weird how can this be real in here I just don't understand how this could ever be real. And this is a mattress. There's an Xbox though. And he has nothing in the drawers. That's what I don't get. Wow. This is bizarre. Wild. I can't even believe it. This is the way to do it, though. It is. Um, I'm going over them with the vinyl. Sure. The whole floor, right? Yeah. That one wasn't very heavy. I just walked around in that room, too. That guy had nothing cool. No. no all trash in there and he had like a box spring just hanging out next to the yeah i'm gonna leave the windows open and then have the exterminator come and it. Bro, I need it open a storm. I had to open all right this is borderline to the worst room i've seen honestly maybe ever so we're just gonna start on this room I already filled up like a whole trash can here, just from the doorway up here. But it's weird they he's got like brand new Assassin's Creed books, which I don't know what to, I can't. There's nothing in this room that's savable. I'm not gonna lie, unless it was like of really high value. Some high Kool-Aid there. I have no idea what's going on with that. And 
there's nothing in the closet. Major billiards. Again, I'm not sitting there one. This place is so gross, nothing being saved from here. Yeah. We're just getting a gallon. I think that's his stuff. Like the dishware and stuff. That's his. Just do that ten times and then we're done. He's just going in on the room. This is sucks. Look at these outlets. Oh, they're wow. Really yeah. it's 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 check this out. This is pretty cool. Oh my That's god, you're cool. tripping. This guy's running away. That's so mean. That is tripping me out. That's really mean. What's going on in there? Why did it make a sizzle like that? I don't know. It's like maybe it cracked over like a sizzle. Get itchy. Get itchy. Oh my god. Look at that little we little alien guy fight. Look at this, look. Is this look is this Look at the crush in there and all the bugs. Is this the five star meal that they would eat every night? And a little alien versus predator chilling. Mm. There's no way you can Unreal. Play. Unreal. Extra bed buggy mattress? Wait, well, check this pick out. No, no, no. Let's see it the City Boardwalk back in the day. And look at this person's birth certificate from way back in the day, 1930 something. Wow. Occupation housewife and painter. Or moving, moving man. Oh, shit. That, no that's way. from Atlantic City. Wow. So they've been in this town yeah. for 100 years. Wow. Nice they used here, don't right? What is that in that Look what joint? he has in here. Um, See, the floor ain't even warped like I would have thought. I'm gonna... This is honestly sandable. Yes, except for the room. Look what he has in here, guys. That's just dirt from mm -hmm. under the carpet. No, if you no. rub your foot on it, it comes up. Look at the disrespect that he has. Does he use it? This nope, is like brand his... new. Well, He's like... killing roommates like that. I'm gonna keep these for the roommates. <laughs> okay. So, but I'm gonna take it out one in one shot. You're gonna eat this food. No, 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 that's good. I'm not eating this food before you jerk it. <laughs> so before I was just fully joking about that um that one bedroom filling up the whole trailer, but we only did a part of it and look at it. It's already filling up. It's pretty pretty insane, actually. you live in here? Take this one out in one piece. That's yeah. That's actually exactly what I want to do. That was what I was thinking the very first time I saw it. That's the great reveal though. Is it plugged in though? No, I don't think it's good. Yeah, we're good. No, it's not plugged in. We're good. Ready? Oh, it's light. Smack that. What, what was your point of having all this? Oh, you just got the food for free. Yeah. Video would be viral though. No, nobody would understand what we'd have to no. deal with with the smell. That's true. It, Unless we set it every viewer a scratch and sniff or an item from here they have to sniff before they walk. <laughs> I mean, you, you could get a scratch and sniff. Would you sleep in here? You'd have to get the person to come here though, the expert, and then they take it back. You know what we could do? We could just send everyone a sock. 
This is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just to prove it. The thing is, I was like saying there's ten thousand items in this house, but now I'm really thinking there was. It's fucked up. This house is there's a lot of stuff. In there. Look, there's an iPad that I found. Yeah. You no can, way. I don't know if it's locked or what. Sure. It's got the good charger too. It's not the old boy. We could charge it up, see. You can always. There's some char uh, diamonds in here, though, Greg. Look. Look, that's probably gold. <gasps> they gotta go. Nice. Yeah, then you pop that window open. Just took the whole trim down. Wow, well, look behind it, though. Yeah, I know. It's okay. It comes with the territory. This just thing was like popping up. It was like. Screaming, please, please let me out. All right, this is it right here. Come closer. Yeah, Check don't be out. wafting that in my face. It's a great reveal. Let's put it up on the this side. is nice. Look at under there. There's a knife. Yeah, that's pretty nice. There's one of those things for shaving your feet. Oh no, the petties. What else is here? Mama's grandma's sewing kit. Look at all those pins and buttons in there. There's no bed bugs though. Nah. Just fleas it. You know my mom's actually worked because I haven't gotten a fleas. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. From no, you're fleas. not. What the hell? Who's this? Hello? Greg! Kill you. Uh oh. Okay. Hello? Hello, who's this? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Sophia. Oh, my mom's doing this property. Oh, how you doing? And right. I've, been, I've been trying to get here to get my mom's belongings out and was not successful. We just well, there's some stuff out of it. Do you want to go through? Go ahead. Yeah, it's pretty no, empty. No, here's, yeah, here's your mom, right? Yeah. I called him. I don't have your number. I called him and told him to call you to tell you that the house is not last. No, we don't have communication with each other. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I had called him about uh, two weeks ago because I guess the people that bought my old house that I lived in Ventnor, Said oh, yeah, said yeah, that you I stopped would, by, but there. they yeah. didn't have my info or anything because my neighbor told me uh -huh. that uh, that you had stopped by. I guess and they I told came me to ask. And around January as well. I wasn't living there. This little baby was crying, and I just so happened to have cat food in the car, so I ran over and fed him or her. Hi, baby. Hi. Is it good? You need water? Mm. Alright, so we got under the bed. There was a mouse. So Greg trapped him and put him in here. And we're just going to let him out in this field. He'll, I don't know what will happen to him, but it's better than his fate in the house. Look at him. He's so he's cute. out, dude. It is out. Freaking gone. So I actually ended up uh, posting all the gaming books and the two systems and some other stuff on Facebook. And this guy just went and just bought it. So posted it today, sold it today. He's got all of it in the bed of his truck. So that was a total score sold just like that so a hundred bucks from the clean out look at that you guys are laughing at me I never question whether you can sell something or not it's just I don't like the aspect of bringing these stuff that could potentially have cockroaches or cockroach eggs you know what I'm saying do the Ernie bell buckle though like this uh, I would just let it out here to rod like sit out yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, just to the side or for something. For the night. Because like once you have a cockroach. I should just put all the Funko Pops on here and then just post them. I didn't want to even bring the books back here, but he was making me basically because I wasn't trying to hang out there for hours. No. After all that. All right, so Sammy just cleaned off all the Funko Pops that we got, and we got a lot of them. And I just pulled this beast of an epic tea out of the packaging and look at it. Look at this. So yeah, it's dry rotted. This was such a freaking cool t-shirt too. Valley's grand. 
Super Ball. Dallas Cowboys, but Buffalo Bills, 93. And the black material, whatever happens to it over time, it shreds to pieces. This car, though, that's about to pass by. Is look at this. With all the yeah, look at this. That's like the Monopoly, man. Legit. It is. I don't know if he's got a monocle on. Nah, the Monopoly man never had a monocle. Damn, we passed the uh, Dr. Donuts. Did we? Ew, their car, dude. Why does it smell like that? It smells really bad. Oh. Yeah. Loving it. The dream, right? <laughs> where's your mo where's your monocle <laughs> all right good morning everyone we're out here in atlantic city once again uh we're gonna try to complete the clean out that we've been working on tirelessly for the last two days well yesterday was really aggressive and the day before that wasn't that crazy but we're out here yeah, here. Gotta do coffee before claims, though. So. Always coffee before claims. So we're going to this place. City, Donuts. Which is connected to a subway. Did you know that? I did. I didn't. I haven't been here for a while, though. We came here before together, that once. Yes. They're building something here. What do you think that is? Atlantic Care. That makes sense. Probably not a funnel. A hospital. A hospital. Yeah. Okay, so we showed up back at the house. And what happened yesterday? What's the story? I'm just gonna get on my TikTok. So yesterday, there's this tuxedo cat. I filmed a little bit of it. And I had cat food in the car, so I fed it. It was at the house across the street. I heard it meowing, and like my, my cat, mom radar went off. And he was across the street at the neighbors and underneath of the car. So I got a little thing and I put food in it, fed the cat. And then we were about to leave and the lady came out from the house because I guess she saw me. And that's actually that kid that just walked by was the previous people who lived here, brother. And he just paces back and forth from the house, whatever. So the lady comes out, this older woman, she was in her moo moo, loved her. But she was saying that, she was like saying thank you for cleaning out this house when really it's, it's Greg's house. But she knows he's going to fix it up. Because she said the people there had these, she had, they had a pit bull and like a smaller dog. She said the pit bull killed the smaller dog. They had cats there. Obviously, we were seeing cat poop all over the house. And the, sorry, I'll try and make this quick. They, the cat got out. The cats, the cats got out and never went back in because the dogs were so messed up in there. So... The cat would come over there and she just started feeding it. She was like, it's not my cat, but she's like, I don't like seeing nobody go hungry. I love her. And actually, Sissy and MJ threw Beacon, the uh, animal rescue. We got them at PetSmart, but they actually came from an older lady that lived in Atlantic City. And that's exactly exactly how I pictured her. Um, but uh, it probably isn't her. But so she feeds that cat. So it was over there, but now it was just on the porch and I missed it. Because the guy walked by and scared. But it comes back Tammy. across the street to the house that it used to live in. And it's just really sad. Like you guys saw the house. It's just, it was, it is still so dirty and disgusting the way that they had their animals. The litter box was disgusting. They're infested with fleas. So, and that's the only one cat though, I think she said. Yeah, there was one cat. I actually wanted to get her a big bag of cat food. Because I, I love people like that. I love that lady for doing that. So, that's that story. Sorry it was so long. Alright, so we're back at the house. And I'm actually kind of getting, like, anxiety about this. Because there was all this sporting, sports stuff. Um, signed, some of it signed. I didn't get to really look through it. In the attic. And we got so overwhelmed yesterday that I ended up just totally forgetting about it and leaving without even getting the box. And some lady whose mom used to live here back in the day uh, came by and she was like going through the stuff in the attic because Greg is nice enough to be like, oh yeah, if you want to get your mom's stuff, go ahead. But I'm just afraid that she was actually just looking for anything of value. Uh, I don't want to be like that, but at the same time, it's hard to really trust people in this business because... That's just sometimes how it goes. 
but I'm just hoping it's still in there. Let's see. So we're gonna just cruise up into the attic. Well, yeah, all that stuff's still there. So that doesn't make any sense because those were all photographs of supposedly her family and that's why she was here. And it's just sitting right there. So. Mask on. It's still incredibly gnarly in here. But. I knew it. Freaking knew it. She took them. All right, so I got the one box of stuff, but I know there's more. Here's some more baseball cards here. Probably nothing of value, but. Okay, we got the collectibles. All right, we're good. These two are coming with me. That one, and this one. Unbelievable sports collectibles though. Nothing crazy crazy, but like cool stuff all day long. Hess truck. Yeah, Yao Ming. On it. Total scores actually. Newspaper clippings. Yeah, wow. Score. I gotta put these in the truck, I can't have. So this lady came by, I'm telling you guys. When I get a feeling about something like that, I think she was just looking for anything of value. I really don't think she cared about. I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't wanna make too crazy of accusations. But the fact that there was a plaque here that was signed, um, and now it's gone, makes me think she was coming for the guts. All right, if you guys are late to come in on the episodes about the cleanouts, or if you're a little bit confused why we're even in this attic right now, um, my wife and I, Sammy J and myself, my name's Tucker, we live in New Jersey, and we used to do a ton of house cleanouts. Um, we slowed down on it since uh, everything in the state of the country here in the United States and worldwide there hasn't been as many cleanouts and actually honestly we've been turning them down or just like bidding them higher than we used to because honestly they can be very bad for your health but either way our friend Greg bought this house and what is that noise he asked us to help him with the clean out so of course we said yes and that's why we're here so the last few videos are us cleaning out the actual house and now finally we've gotten into the attic fully and I'm gonna take every box of anything that's worthy and put it right in the truck like this box right here Collectibles. Let's go right in the truck. So, anything that we can sell, whatever, I can work out with Greg later. But there was some lady over here yesterday that was basically trying to work her way in to getting this stuff. And I'm not really interested in that because Greg bought the house as is with everything in it. And part of the job. And the agreement was that we were gonna do a treasure hunt. So here we are, all these boxes are gone. And this is legitimately some real, 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 real style picking right here. Look at that though. Just an idea of might what be in here. I'm not sure what this is, but it's something. Philadelphia Flyers plaque. That's pretty nice. Sorry for the heavy breathing. 
I have just been going up and down the steps and I do have a mask on so it just makes it louder. But here's a whole box of Hess trucks and those are coming home. And this is Hess trucks and whatever else. So that's in a uh, yes box. All this is going to go down eventually. But I'm just trying to show you guys, you know, maybe some potential stuff of actual value. We're running it. Head mount. So actually, here's a bunch of uh, plaques and stuff like that. So this box is going for sure. It's all playing cards. Some kind of playing cards. And then, you know, what else do we got? I'm just taking this off because I'm hoping that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing in here. This is filled with like baseball cards and stuff. Look at these trunks. One trunk. Two trunk. Three trunk. Wow. Vintage stuffed animals. So we got our work cut out for us up here though. Those are Pokemon things. Wow. This is nuts. I wonder what's in here. Do we open it up? I was literally up in the attic soaking wet already. I've been there for five minutes, literally. Um, it's so hot, but we br I brought down a couple boxes already of the good stuff. And I don't really like to sound like this, but when you're putting yourself in a situation where you're cleaning out a hoarder house that's filled with cat poop, roaches, bed bugs, um, it smells like absolute, like the worst thing ever. This is like after it's already done. And it's still this dirty. Look at this. So we got the clothes here. I went to the local Cedar Market to see if they had like boxes of gloves because I left mine at home because I was gonna wash them. Didn't get to washing them, but um, didn't have that, so I bought cat food and then, like two bags and then a couple of cans of Weddies and I put it on the lady's porch for tan. But let's be real, these can be donated. These are really nice. Cause uh. They're not like from the house, they're from the attic, so. Damn, Cactus jeans? I don't ooh, know, these ooh, might be ooh, all ooh. me. Do they have bed buggies? No, they smell like uh, cat pee. These are me though. Or are they ruined, you think? These are so nice. I mean, I can wash them, I just didn't, I didn't expect them to stink, so it kind of. How about this? Hit me in the face. Are, are, these, are these even old? I'm so confused about what was going on in there. It's a mixture. What? Dude, these are Kmart Joe Boxies. Way too big, but these are classic. Alright, we're going back up. So we already got... The best part about the stuff in the attic is it wasn't in the rest of the house. Meaning that it might not have been as destroyed. 
were freaking molested by the by the creepiness of the house. So most of this stuff is either like donatable. Or just trash. This one here, though, is good. Vinyl. That's hidden back there deep. That one's coming out. So what I'm trying to do is get all the good stuff out, secure it in the truck, and then we'll start working on the trash after that. I mean, we already did 4,000 pounds of trash from this house and another trailer full outside. So around three tons of trash so far. And this is probably another couple thousand pounds up here. Insane. Oh wow. This is heavy. Wow, wow. That was nuts. Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson. Mikey J. Sneaking out. Sneaky peeking. Uh, they're vinyl. Actually, Sneaky really sad. I hope the cats peed on it when these boxes were down. Queen. Because if there's cats trapped in the attic, that's no. Sad. There's cat pee on all of those clothes, and it's extremely hot. Zap. So the clothes are ruined. I'm gonna go throw them still. But, uh, it's, a, it's a very potent smell. So this is a vinyl. I don't know if any of it's good. I mean, that's like a bundle deal, yeah, like all that. Specializes in records that little dust that's just like dude crazy all right let's take a deep look here let's see what we're down we got some halloween stuff there i'm gonna tell him i want that if it comes in the meantime some wheelchairs those could be donated if we get to it not gonna be a while till we get to it though let's be real Crazy stuff up here, though. Wow. Wow. I gotta try to get over this. Get over this hump right here. Get in here. Ugh. Literally falling over. Literally falling over. Everything. We got this in here. I don't get this. Get this at all. 
What is this? That's that one I might want to grab actually. So I'll throw these in with that. There's so much crazy stuff up here. I don't know what that is. Hey, Bob. No idea what that is. Just purses. Is this freaking real? For real? What is going on in this attic? Vintage blow up thing. Thermos. Too much stuff. The deepest one. Nothing. That's records. This is insane. Total insanity. Hoping you guys can even see what I'm doing right now. Like old pins and stuff. I'm gonna have to take that. So this is the third load of just straight up trash. This whole thing is filled with trash. And there's probably two more of those honestly in here. And I just brought down. I've just been bringing down random boxes. Not filming it really because it's so hard to film and do it. But this is a lot of trash in here, but mixed with. Freaking epic pins. So I gotta just take this whole box to get to the goods. I don't know. These are trash. Yeah. And, and the, there. That huge What is that from? I don't know. These I didn't see anything bite me, but dude, it itches so bad. I'm trying not to itch it because then it itches worse. You didn't even go in the house, did you? No, it's from being out. I was like, because you guys, that's Greg's stuff, and that you wanted that and these, so I just put it out to dry because it was all like, all the rust from being out in the rain, it's all like creaky. Oh my gosh, this is the gnarliest job ever. Green. This is gold, uh, old comic books, DC Comics, Superman, Daredevil number one, wow, Ezra Fire. This guy was a collector though, for real. That, what are these though? Whoa. These are metallic impressions, embossed metal collector's card. Jackie Robinson. And that was an Avon gift collection. There's a few of those though. These are pretty cool. I don't know what that is. I guess I'll put this on my head. These are baseball cards. That was a Sammy Sosa there. Let's see what these are. American Legends. Michael Jordan. Yeah, we we'll put these away for now. Some gold. And then we got these guys in here. Is this freaking Homer? That's too funny. Ernie. Look at this. Dude, Ernie. Or Bert, right? Bert, yeah, no, it's Bert, Bert and Ernie, yeah. Which one's that? I don't even know. 
Yeah. How's this though? Mm. Dude, the dragon? Why does this stuff have to be ruined? This was the least ruined though. Look, E.T. It smells ruined. Compared to what was in the house and not in the attic? Oh, wow. All of it's wrecked. All of it's wrecked. Nuh-uh. People saying you can't wash it with a thorough disinfectant. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. I've been in here. We've been here for about an hour. And I'm soaking wet, sweating. This place is absolutely freaking disgusting, but we got to get rid of this uh, this load of trash. This is a successful technique to a day out in the heat. Sammy brought all these drinks, so stay hydrated on the job for real. Waters, iced tea, one soda down in the bottom. That's the thumbs up right there for the Sammy J clean. Yeah. So Sammy's wiping down this bin because this lady said she wanted all her stuff from her mom. So we gave her all the stuff from her mom. I was gonna take all this stuff before it got wet. Um, and lo and behold, she didn't actually want the stuff from her mom. She wanted stuff that was more valuable than her actual mom's stuff. So she left this all out in the rain and we still want to try and salvage it because there's a lot of cool buttons and stuff in here and maybe somebody will want them. People do buy uh, old buttons. Those ones are kind of wrecked, but no, no. I was just thinking like this one now. Well, that's got a P on it, but there was some that were military in here. So you never know. Not to mention some of this jewelry is probably gold, honestly. Cause it was all mixed in like this ring right here. I don't know, this ring's looking looking like a good piece right here. Yeah, this is silver, this ring. This little one here. Silver ring. It says 925 in there. It stinks. No, can I wipe it off, please? It smells good. Really. It smells like candy. Was this in the garage or in the attic? I think that was in the attic. Just from like the... There's so many bugs out here that I think you were just getting attacked by the regulars. The gnats? No, I Look didn't... Look at this. Where? You can't see it, really, but there's like 3,000 bugs right there. I don't know gnats could like get you like that. So here's what we have. Um, we've had problems always by overfilling the trailer because the walls are only so high. We should build them higher up, obviously, but we haven't yet. And we use these trampoline tarps because we figured out over the years that regular tarps are basically useless unless you have them like tight as possible and wrapped all the way around. So we use these, they have holes in them so that the wind doesn't catch it, it just goes right through. This is literally from a trampoline, this one, and the other one's from a pool. So two different tarps. I'm gonna just throw this on a time lapse and wrap the whole trailer. It's not perfect, but everything is in there held down tightly with two tarps. He was saying that? He or was he saying he, he wanted it? Want no, Who would want this? Why didn't we just put this in there? Well, that's why I was, I kept trying to, cause like, guys. Guys are like all over the place when they work. I've noticed. But when you, we'll put it right next to the yard. Perfect. I mean, why somebody wants. Why is that so heavy? It's cause it's got like bricks in the bottom of it. Oh my gosh, it's all moldy though, dude. Nobody wants that. Yeah, the trash guy does. Yeah, but he'll take it maybe. And this, really There's a little bit of scrap in there though. Should we get this? Let's do it. You like this thing? No. Oh my gosh. He was juiced the first day. 
day he was here. The energy. Which is like, like this, Yeah, that's why I was like, no, I don't think when I get that very soft because it's so heavy. Alright, let's get out of here. Still not done the job, but today we only did a little bit. We wanted to secure all of the collectibles. And we got a whole load of trash as well. So we will be back. Stay tuned for more videos. Probably one more left from the house. And who knows, there's a lot of stuff still in the attic. We could come across some serious treasures um, if we dig deep enough. But for now, the saga is over. Peace. All right, so this is what we salvaged from the attic. Lots and lots of Hess trucks, among other things. This is obviously not gonna be a keepable piece there. Hess truck heaven is what we're gonna call this. These are all cards in there though. Basketball, football. Yeah, she just unloaded all this stuff. Tiger Woods. Jerry Rice ornament. Basketballs, footballs. Pretty cool stuff though, I will have to say. NASCAR basketball. Hess trucks, Hess trucks, Hess trucks. All the Hessie truckies. Construction vehicles, they even went that far. A little like telescope in there. No idea what that is. Not for resale, I don't know. Batteries. Hess trucks galore. I might just lay out all the Hess trucks and try and sell them as a lot. Because otherwise it would be almost impossible to deal with all this stuff. So we got a whole bunch of Hess trucks. All on the table are the Hess trucks. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 18, 16, 18, 20. I think two, 24 altogether, I'm pretty sure. So that's not bad, that's, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred dollars on the Hess trucks. And then, all these are like various different Sunoco and other sports teams. Is the Eagles, Cowboys, Cowboys, 49ers. This is another Eagles one. Dunkin' Donuts truck, wow. Yeah, we should give this to the people at Dunkin' Donuts. A Dunkin' Donuts truck. Right? That would be so funny. They could like put it in there. All right, real quickly, just to end off the video, I wanted to speak on the situation in the attic for a second. And the woman that showed up and took, ultimately, the most valuable sports memorabilia from the attic. So when I first found out, as you guys can see in the video, that she came in and got that one box. Freaking knew it. She took them. We did get the Mike Tyson uh, piece before she even knew that it was up there. And I don't mean that in a way like we snuck it from her, but the guy told Jesse actually bought it off of me to put in his house, which to me, that's pretty cool because he actually wanted it. Um, and it was a really cool piece. As you guys can see in the video, when I come back the next day, go in the attic, and I realize that that box is gone. Uh, for that moment, I was pretty much heartbroken. I'm not going to lie. Um, I really thought we were going to get that stuff. And then when I started to sit back later on after... The excitement died down and everything came to a boil. 
I started to think about it and realize that, yes, Greg did buy the house and everything in it. Those people, the guy who lived there, had a chance to take whatever he wanted when he left. But the reality of it is, that lady who came was actually the daughter of the people who lived in the house. They were her parents. And anything that was in the attic, whether it was valuable or not, at the end of the day, could have been extremely sentimental to her. And when she came up to the house, she had the the obituary funeral um, pamphlet for her mother uh, with her. So for me to judge her like I was judging is wrong. And if that was my grandfather's stuff or my father's stuff in that attic, I would have wanted the opportunity to get what I could get as well. It is what it is. She got this stuff. I hope she keeps it and gives it to her family instead of just selling it because it probably is stuff that they collected over the years that was cool to have in the family. But whatever she does with it, in the end it was Greg's decision uh, to let her in and be a good person, I would call it, to say, yeah, take your, your mother's stuff, um, go ahead and look and take whatever you want. Because uh, obviously his plan has nothing to do with what was in the house. He just wants to get it fixed and then start renting it on the Airbnb website. Um, we have, so far this year, me and Sammy together as a team, our YouTube channel, everything we've been going on, we've been awarded so much success this year, more than ever before, that basically something like that can't set us back and I can't even be upset about it because we've been, do we've been doing really well uh, for ourselves and everything that we love and we've been doing has been growing and we've been turning basically our passions into our business and making money and making opportunities and sharing a life together that is literally so awesome. A little bit sad about the stuff, but I just wanted to explain where I'm at in my head with it because I know there's gonna be a lot of comments and people just talking about what happened. The bottom line is it was her dad's stuff. She took it, Greg let her, we all let her, we were all there. You know, hopefully she wasn't just there for the money. Hopefully she was there to get stuff that was meaningful to her in her life. Um, I did want to say though that we got all those basketballs out of there. We got a lot of stuff, so, and we already made money and he paid us well for the job. And we still have hundreds of dollars of other collectibles uh, just sitting here at the house that we can still sell. But the basketballs that we got, we did something really cool with those. Um, and that's gonna be in an upcoming video. So maybe in the end, it all worked out for the best because the thing we did with the basketballs was more meaningful than anything else that could have come out of that job. So see you guys in the next video. Peace.